I've had some clients ask me, Dan, what automation solutions do you use to be able to integrate to other applications? And I think this is a great question because there's a number of tools on the market. So I'm going to talk about which tools we use and why in which circumstances. And I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on which applications you're using as well. Well, we have to start off the conversation with Zapier. Zapier's got the largest market share in the SMB space of people using it for integrations. It also has the largest number of integrations to different platforms. So if you're working with a varied number of tools, chances are it can connect to Zapier. And then finally, I'm really excited about the innovation that we're seeing from Zapier. It's created its Canvas tool. It has its own interfaces. It has its own tables. And so we're excited about what is yet to come with Zapier. Make is what I consider our daily driver. We're using it with the majority of our clients. It allows us to do more flexible and configurable things that we can't necessarily do with Zapier or that is more expensive to do in Zapier. And that cost is really a big part of this too, because the way that Make prices their operations typically makes it significantly cheaper to be able to have your automations run than using a tool like Zapier. Pipedream is another tool that we've been using recently with our clients, especially when it can help to use a little bit of code to go a long ways. So I'll give you an example. We've been doing some reporting. And if you think about spreadsheets, a lot of the other automation tools out there, every single row in a spreadsheet is gonna cost that against you. And if we can use a little bit of code and be able to process a lot of information and inject it into a report, that can be a huge cost savings. So we were able to take a report that would take several hundred dollars to run on a different automation platform, write some code, and it works beautifully in Pipedream. A similar tool is N8N. And if you're looking for an open source tool, this is the option for you. We're also really excited about what they're doing in the AI space. Now that they've integrated with Langchain, you can use it to train your own models. Shifting away from the technical end of the spectrum is Bardeen AI, which runs as a Chrome browser extension. This allows you to have both manual and automatically triggered processes. It's a very simple UI, easy to use, and we like it especially anytime that we're integrating with an AI tool or data enrichment tool because you don't have to pay for those additional subscriptions. You can get that all handled through Bardeen. Now, oftentimes it's hard to get a client to change their business processes to adapt to your integration platform. And in the case of Ply, you really don't have to do that because in Ply, you can add buttons contextually in the applications that you're using. So if you have Gmail, you could add a button in the Compose section, which kicks off a process, which makes Ply a great tool to use to augment your existing tech stack. And the newcomer we have in the bunch is Relay, which recently released. It was on Product Hunt. The part that I'm really excited about, it feels similar to Zapier in some ways, but there's two pieces I really like. One is the ability to have a really end-to-end -end workflow process. Oftentimes in integrations, we get separated from the business because we say, oh, we have to do one zap or one automation for this part of the process and another one later in the process. Well, think about it this way. Let's say you had someone book an event with Calendly. You could say, hey, now that they've booked, do this. Before the meeting, do that. After the meeting, transcribe the notes, send it to the customer. So it gives you more an end-to-end -end flavor for this. And the other thing it can do is it can involve a human. So if you need human intervention midway through an automation process, Relay allows you to do that. So how about you? Are you content with using a single automation and integration platform, or do you find yourself mixing and matching a little bit? I'd love to hear in the comments below. If you have any questions in getting set up with your no-code systems or your automations, feel free to reach out to automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.